Hi everyone, Farmer Kate here and I am joined by one of our stick insects. Now you might remember a while ago I went on a little road trip to collect these. We've had them here for a few months now so it's about time we did a bit of an educational video on them so I can tell you a few facts about these spiny stick insects also known as giant prickly stick insects, insects or McClay's spectre stick insects. Now this is about adult size, so this is fully grown now. They are native to Australia, more concentrated in New South Wales, that territory. And they're gonna live in eucalyptus trees because that's their primary food source. But here in Barnsley, eucalyptus trees are slightly more hard to come across. So we give them bramble, which is a really good substitute. And they also eat oak as well. So these stick insects, they grow very, very quickly. So we got these when they were juveniles, maybe teenagers, and now a lot of them are full adults. And the reason they grow very quickly is they need to lay lots of eggs because they do have a short lifespan of one to two years, which doesn't sound, you know, very fun, but for an insect, that can be quite a long time. These will lay eggs and it's fascinating really because they will lay eggs that look like seeds and they will fall on the ground. Ants will come along and take them into the nest to incubate the eggs. Now that sounds like good for the ants thinking they get a tasty treat but not so good for those eggs. And that's because they're designed to have a little fatty deposit on one side of the eggs the ants will eat and just leave the rest of the egg alone. So the egg is gonna incubate nice and safely. They're gonna hatch out into something that doesn't look like a stick insect, more that looks like a spe that species of ant. And then that allows them to safely escape that burrow. And then after a shed, they'll become a stick insect and grow and start to camouflage into those eucalyptus trees and look quite spiky to put off predators as well. Another thing that's really interesting about these guys is they do something called parthenogenesis, which is a bit of a fancy word. So female stick insects without a male can lay their own eggs and they will be fertile. And that's because they're producing genetic clones of themselves and all those eggs are gonna be female. So that allows them to reproduce without those males really. I will leave you with one more fact about these guys. They've got a few different defense mechanisms, like I said, such as their camouflage and these spikes, but they will also emit a bit of a scent to put off predators. Now, apparently it smells either like toffee or vinegar to humans. I've never been able to smell it because they've always been quite chilled out, but apparently to predators, it smells really, really nasty and allows them to escape and live another day. So I hope you learned something new about these guys. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you later. Bye bye.